Other news for you tonight, Bahamian fishermen predicting this year's crawfish season will be quite successful. A few of them spoke with Arla Don Davis. Uh, you can make a lot of money, and sometimes you don't make money because of poachers. Veteran fisherman Desmond Malone is among dozens of fishermen preparing for a busy crawfish season. His crew was busy loading 1,000 crawfish traps and bait onto two vessels hoping to strike gold. Malone, who's been a fisherman for a little over two decades, says fierce competition and other challenges on the high seas have made it difficult to make an honest living. My experience on the sea was really great through the years, and sometimes it, do it, it doesn't be great because you have a lot of poachers that come over and a bunch of big boats and they outnumber the small boats. The anxious fishermen told us what happens when the traps are taken to various drops for the big catch. We have something what we call a wrench and a dragger. We drop that overboard. It's something that called trawls. Our trap is on trawls. And we drop that dragger and we hook our line. And it's like 25 trap in a line. And we bring up the first line. Sometimes we have 21 lines to pull every day, and we scatter. We have to pull them every day. Sometimes it's be a, 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 a back, a downfall with it, because sometimes you have to repair them, sometimes they broke up. Director of the National Fisheries Association and commercial fisherman Keith Carroll applauded officers from the Royal Bahamas Defense Force for protecting our borders and marine resources. Like usually the, the Dominicans usually come in during the, during the summer months, plentiful, because we're not out there. But when we have these eyes for the Defense Force, so, and that's when the crawfish is having, laying the eggs and stuff. And they usually catch them by then. So if we could keep them off the bank while the crawfish is, is having, um, uh, you know, um, a spawning, they'll be better for us. Carol says Hurricane Isaias may have pushed the season to a late start, but there was no significant damage to vessels and traps. He assured customers, however, that there should be a sufficient supply of the tasty crustacean to go around. I know um, the fish houses is buying, they are allowed to buy the lobster once we come in. So I guess I guess the Bahamian public will be able to go to the fish houses. I don't know if these same days they'll be able to go. But as long as we go out and catch the lobster, the fish house will buy them from us. Uh, I mean, us um, are selling our lobsters, that, that'll be the only, I guess, one of the only uh, uh, sort of foreign income that the government can have coming in. Because, it's easy, you know, we sell, we sell away so the money come back home. LaDawn Davis, ZNS Network News.